Hey, how's it going everyone? Two Base here, and just like the title says, we're gonna be looking at the five lines from Voltron, Legendary Defender. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. Lions are five robotic ships that were created by King Alpha. These machines are piloted by the main protagonist of the series. Each line is a separate part that when joined together they form Voltron. After a battle with the Lebanite scavengers, King Alpha and the rest of the team were having a feast at their base when suddenly a comet crashed near them. The comet was transported to a safer location where King Alpha can study and experiment on it. Over the course of time, Alpha built a lion using the comet's ore. For those who don't know what ore is, it's basically a material that can usually be found when you're mining and can be smelted down to make a type of metal. The alloy made from the comet's ore makes these ships almost indestructible, according to Alpha. The comet alloy also renders them nearly indestructible. The lion's design was inspired by the white lion guardian Alpha had to face when visiting Orion in order to gain more knowledge on alchemy. The lions aren't just regular ships, they're actually life forms with sentience. Each lion is unique representing different elements, sort of like the benders from Avatar. The blue lion is water, the black lion is air, the red lion is fire, the yellow lion is earth, the green lion is forest. The lion's power source comes from the quintessence that was infused in the comets that Alpha used to create them. Just to give you an idea how powerful this stuff is, they were in an experiment for a year with a small generator with just a small drop of quintessence, and the generator still ran without slowing down once. According to Allura, each lion has a different personality. The black lion is the common stern one. The green line is the curiosity type. The yellow line is the kind and caring one. The red line is the hot-headed one. Allura didn't explain the blue line's personality in the show, but in an interview with Voltron story editor Tim Hendrick, he said that the blue line is the supporting one, being really flexible and helping out the others in any situation. Each line has a personality trait it's associated with to help the team. What is the blue lines? Because when Allura had started talking about the, the blue line with Lance, Lance sort of interrupted her, and we never got to find out what that true personality trait was of the Blue Lion. I, I think that the Blue Lion is, it seems to be the lion that I most associate with, like, holding the team together. There's something about yeah. teamwork with the Blue Lion, like, mm -hmm. and about providing, you know, what's needed at the time, mm -hmm. you know, and being flexible, and, you know, which I think is kind of a little bit of the water element of the mm -hmm. Blue Lion ties into being a leg too, you know? Legs are all about support. Right. In my opinion, the personality for each line makes a lot of sense. Like the red line is unstable and wild like fire. The green line is curiosity needed to know more once it grow like the plants in the forest. The black line is calm but ferocious like the wind. The yellow line is caring personality but tough exterior like the earth. And the blue line is adaptability like the water. Tell me what you think in the comments. Do you think I'm just overlooking into this or do you agree with me? Let me know. The lions share a few common attacks like the mouth cannon, tail laser, and the jaw blade, but the lions also have weapons and attacks unique to them. The blue lion has the sonic cannon shown in season 2 episode 2, which can be used to attack enemies with the sonic wave. It can also use a sonar map shown in season 3 episode 3, and the blue lion can also shoot an ice beam out of its mouth. The blue lion is also stronger and faster when fighting underwater. The green lion has a vine cannon shown in season 2 episode 4, which when shot, the vines can grow out of the target either blind them or crush them. The green lion also has a cloaking device that Pigeon installed herself. The yellow and black lion unique weapons are melee based attacks. The yellow lion gets armor claws, a thicker coat of armor with rocket boosters, shown in season 2 episode 6. The yellow lion can use the enhanced claws to perform a spiral attack that can rip right through the enemy. The black lion's wing Wings can expand which shows energy blades in the shape of feathers shown in season 2 episode 13. The feather blades can cut through the target with one powerful swoop. The wings also give the black line a speed boost. The red line can shoot fire from its mouth and has a railgun cannon on its back which fires a powerful blast at the enemy shown in the season 1 finale. This didn't work on Zarkon mainly because he's villain number 1 but if this was generic villain 13 they would have been gone in an instant.
TV from other dimensions has a somewhat looser feel to it. Yeah, it's got an almost improvisational tone. Five were brought here for a reason. Together, you will form Voltron. The greatest weapon ever known. Protector of the innocent. And our only hope to save the universe. Defenders of the universe, huh? It's got a nice ring to it. DreamWorks Voltron. Legendary Defender. The lions have the ability to combine together to become a giant robot called Voltron. Each line becomes a different part. The yellow line becomes the left leg. The red line becomes the right arm. The blue line becomes the right leg. The green line becomes the left arm. The black line becomes the head and torso. In order to form Voltron, the paladins and the lions have to be on the same wavelength. Once the bond is made, the paladins experience a certain feeling. The lions soar into the air and combine into Voltron. And the name Voltron wasn't just something Alpha came up with the last minute. Alpha heard the name Voltron in the vision he had when he and his team first combined. The sword is Voltron's signature weapon, but each individual line can unlock a different ability. The red line's ability with the help of a Bayard unlocks a sword, the yellow line unlocks a shoulder cannon, the black line unlocks a shield. At the time you're writing this script, the blue and green line's ability hasn't been unlocked yet, but the Bayards can combine to create new abilities with Voltron, like the blue, yellow, red, and green Bayard can make the sword grow bigger, shown in Season 2, Episode 6. The black and red Bayard can make the blazing sword, shown in Season 2, Episode 13. The paladins are the partners of the lions. The paladins are chosen by the lions to pilot them. Not just anyone can pilot a lion. Normally if a person is unworthy to pilot a lion, it will not activate or the lion will have a force field around it until a person they deems worthy will come to pilot it. The paladin and the lion fighters won. The contestants of the paladins combine with the lion. The lions can also change their paladin when they see fit. Like when the blue lion decided not to respond to Lance but responded to Alora. Now Lance pilots the red lion once the red lion called for him. And when the black lion severed the bond they had with Zarkon. The paladin can also see through their lion's eyes shown in season 1 episode 4. The lions can also sense where their pilot is in danger. Some examples would be when the green and black lion saved Pidge and Shiro, and the red lion helped Keith when he was stranded in space. A greater example of this is when the black lion took Shiro's spirit and put it inside of it when Shiro was on the verge of death. Okay, so here's your bonus fact for today. Despite the fact that these ships are based off of lions, the roar of these ships are actually the roar of a tiger.
Okay, so that's it for this video. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button with notifications turned on. Also, follow me on my socials. The links are down below. Until next time, see you.